Today I want to talk to you about primary sources and how we can use primary sources as a way to start our journals. Now, if you think back to what you know, a primary source is an item, thing, letter that was around at the time of an event occurring. For example, when we studied about the American Revolution, you might have read a letter written by a red coat. Now, that letter would have been a primary source. Or maybe you looked at a political cartoon that says, join or die. That was a primary source. They were around at the time of the event. I want you to think about what are some things that you would include or you would consider a primary source to capture your lives right now. For me, I'm thinking of these items here. Maybe an alcohol wipe that I use every day to wipe down my hands or tabletops. This might be a primary source because I'm using it during this time. Or especially my face masks. These face masks could be really great primary sources to write about because they definitely capture the time that we are in. What primary sources are you thinking about? Come join me as we journal about our primary sources that capture the moment we're in. All right, writers, let's take a closer look at collecting the primary sources around us that capture this moment. Now, if you take a moment, here's a reminder of what a primary source could be. When we studied about the American Revolution, you saw Benjamin Franklin's political cartoon, Join or Die. Remember, this is a primary source because someone who was around during this time made it during then to represent what he was thinking about that time. Also to the right, you'll remember that there's a picture of the Boston Massacre. This is a primary source because Paul Revere, a person around at that time, made this during the time of the Boston Massacre. Remember he made this to show how evil the Redcoats were? thinking about his perspective during this time too. So thinking about that, what are some primary sources around you that represent this time in history? Today I wanna to teach you this, that journal writers often find artifacts to inspire their writing. When they look around, they can find documents or objects that help them explain what's going on around them. Now, if you remember, a primary source that I found was a face mask. I feel that this artifact really represents this time in history. Let me show you what my journal entry looks like. When I look around my apartment and try to find documents or objects that would help me explain what this time is like for me, I immediately look at my face mask. For me, a face mask is the perfect primary source to help explain to others what this time period is like for me. I have never worn a face mask up until now but now it is a thing I have to have on at some point during every day. I used to not like things on my face. Even as a kid, regular masks seemed to be too constricting to me. I would feel like I was suffocating and that I couldn't breathe. I never wore any type of mask on my face and swore that I never would. I had to get over my discomfort of wearing a mask, not only for my health, but for the health of others around me. If I want to go out and buy groceries or pick up food or even just go for a walk in the park, I have to wear a mask. When asked, what captures this moment for you? I simply think to myself, masks. Face masks capture this moment in time perfectly for me. All right, writers, so take a moment and look around. Are there any documents or objects or artifacts that capture this moment for you? Ask yourself, are there any items around me that could make me think of this moment in history the second I look at it? Or how would I describe my feelings about this document or object? What captures this moment for me? Take a moment and think. What is a primary source for you? All right, writers, I'm excited to see your writing. Off you go.